This is Jeff Burns of Freelance Art Journey. You can check out my work at jeffburnsart.com. Hello and welcome back. In this video, this is a continuation, obviously, of the character illustration that I've been working on. Um, I don't know if I shared the name of the character, but her name is Mila. So she's a nun that is kind of embarking on an adventure of sorts. Uh, it's going to involve human trafficking, uh, which is obviously an important and serious topic uh, in this country, but worldwide. It is a serious issue and you know, it's something I, I need, I, I feel needs to be addressed. And so this character is involved in that um, kind of thrust into that arena. So yeah, that's the basic ideas behind this character. If you cross uh, Father Brown with Batman, what would you get? And so that's the idea behind Mila. And, you know, there will obviously be more to come as uh, as the new year starts up. Uh, you'll hear more about Mila. But anyway, the crux of this video I, is about my idea of the motivation behind doing creative work, right? There was a comment made in my last video about the mindset of a freelance artist and the fact that freelance work and doing commissions is basically service oriented. And so you have to have that mindset going in that mentality to, to really enjoy doing that type of work if you're creative. And you know, it was something that it stuck with me all this time. You know, I, I just thought about that for the longest and it was stated in a way as though service oriented creatives are separate from other types of creatives. Hey, uh, take care of this for me, will you? <laughs> And, you know, not that that's a bad thing or that the commenter, you know, made the statement in error or anything like that. But I just really thought about that. And I came to the conclusion that, you know, if you really boil down being an artist, what that means, then I believe that we are all in service to something as creatives because you know my philosophy about being a creative in any capacity is that we are communicators right we are communicating to the viewer whether it be through a painting or through a dance or a sculpture we're communicating something and what we're communicating should influence and motivate the viewer, make them happy, make them aware of a cause, um, encourage them to do something, right? Whether we are working as a, an artist for marketing purposes, or whether you're a fine artist in your painting something from your heart it's communicating an idea a message and so it still boils down to a singular principle right of communication and so this is something that i stress to my younger students that what they do is important as an artist um and i i tell them that we we put lawyers, doctors, engineers, we put them high on the ladder, but they're up there, right? You know, to be a scientist, rocket scientist, that's important. And I've heard 
artists say that what they're doing is not changing or saving lives as if to say you know this is not that important we're just entertaining people or we're just doing we're just selling merchandise or making a comic book or whatever it's not as important as brain surgery which you know i get that but i would argue not to sell yourself too short as an artist because what you do is important like i said we communicate to others through our art and what we're saying through our art is important um, we can motivate others to feel happy to feel joyous to give them hope you don't know what you're doing through your painting that speaks to the viewer you could give someone hope to live another day you can put a smile on a brain surgeon's face through the art that is on the packaging of something that she purchases or a book cover, something that motivates that lawyer to pick that book up and read that novel. The point is, we what we do as artists, do, they, it does matter. It's not as direct as what the doctor does on a daily basis. Those nurses who are on the front line um, helping patients and those who are sick, you know, that's direct. The firefighter that rushes into the building and saves someone, that's, you know, you can see that, that's clear. But what we do as artists is indirect, but yet it's still important. You know, those people, they have emotions and feelings and they aspire to things or they can lose hope. And a person without hope, a world without hope is a dangerous place to live in. I think we know that we're seeing that now. And so it is important that we don't lose hope. And that we fight to live another day and that we encourage other people to do the same. And that's what we as artists do. It is our responsibility to do that. And so, you know, I would say to, to others that um, doing freelance work and commissions, um, it, yeah, it is service oriented and you have to have that service mentality, but we're, in service as artists in general we are in service to someone or something you know it may even if you're doing fine art you're still in service if that piece is supposed to be communicating the dangers of of uh, mental illness then you are a slave to that message that needs to get out. What does that message need to communicate? How does it need to be communicated? Uh, what colors that it will dictate what colors are used, what shapes, all of these things. So you become a slave to whatever the message is that needs to be communicated. So you're answering to something, if not someone. So yeah, that's my philosophy, I guess you could say on being an artist and the purpose of it. Um, yeah, we, it, yeah, it's about self-expression, but I think that self-expression is a, it's interwoven into the bigger message of communicating an idea or a story or a message, something important that you're communicating to your audience. So again, Thank you for watching and listening. God bless. And we'll see you in the next broadcast. Thanks again for tuning in. Please do me a favor and hit that little subscribe button and that little bell so you can be notified when the next video drops. Later.